and now here it has an activity let's say i want to take different flow shapes now this let's say this is advanced agent agent and this is activity okay there are some steps steps will be available in activity right now schedule time is 6 pm 6 pm is the schedule time now once 6 pm is reaches what happens now this agent wake up at 6 pm and executes activity directly okay that means once 6 pm is reached it is going to run the activity at what time 6 pm hit the activity activity will get executed results will be retrieved whatever that is there in the activity that will be done okay this is clear everyone this is the behavior of advanced agent okay completed next let's see standard agent behavior so standard agent behavior is like this now this is the agent and let's say this is activity okay standard agent let's say it is 6 pm every day okay every day 6 pm okay now this is activity and here we have steps in the activity now at 6 pm at 6 pm agent will wake up will wake up so once it wakes up it will not execute the activity okay what it does now once it wakes up at 6 pm this is at 6 pm okay it has woken up and it is going to look up a table look up a look up q table we call it as q table look up q table there is something else available that is table so table will have let me draw the diagram for the table rows and all two rows are important remaining rows are not required to discuss one is py agent name two columns that is another column is py item status okay i'll talk about item status in some time later not now now agent wakes up it will look at this one let's say this agent name is my agent okay and here it, will have, it should have an entry with its name my agent with the status as of now scheduled status and again my agent status is scheduled now how many records are there it will wake up and it is going to pick the instances one after other first it is going to take the first item okay now it is going to take this first instance take this first instance execute activity activity will be executed okay now here execute activity again for the second instance is there right it will pick the second entry and again what it will do it is going to execute activity how many times activity is executed now again execute activity suppose you have three items suppose you have four items 100 items are there by the time agent wakes up how to keep the items i'll tell you so 100 times agent that will be executed now see when this agent wake up first it will look up the table let's say there are no items available in the table then it is not going to execute the activity instead it will go to sleep wake up look up the table 
items are there for this agent. For every agent, items will be there in the same table. The table name also I'll write down. The table name is PR sys queues in this table. PR sys queues table. So if an item is there, then it is going to execute activity once. For each item, it is going to execute activity multiple. Uh, for each item, it is going to execute activity once. If you have multiple items, multiple times the agent activity will be executed. If you don't have any items, then agent will go to sleep. So that means the standard agent is using one standard procedure. Unlike advanced agent will wake up and execute activity directly. Standard agent is following some standard process defined by Vega. The process is once the agent wakes up, it look up a queue table. If a queue item is available for this agent, then it will execute activity else it will go to sleep. By the time it wakes up, there are 100 queue items, it will execute activity 100 times. Now, how to put the queue items into queue table? All the nodes is available in documents. The queue items can be kept into the queue table by, you, by calling an activity during the processing. During the processing of an, uh, uh, processing of a case, we need to put the queue items to any agent by calling an activity queue for agent. There's an OTP activity which you need to call queue for agent. If you call queue for agent, it will take two parameters. What is the name of the agent? What is the role set? So to that agent, it is going to make entries in the table. Now, when the agent wakes up, it will look up the table. Queue items are there for today. It will process. Let's say. Monday to Friday, there are n number of policies created. All policies you are queuing one after other. Okay, for making it resolved by agent and batch cycle, schedule time. Suppose Saturday there is no business at all. Then Saturday it will wake up and let's say there is no records available in the table. On Saturday it will go to immediately sleep. Okay, there are other advantages which I'll tell you. This is just a basic functional idea. Basic idea, functionally how it works. There are many technical things which we need to discuss. Okay. So now what I am going to do is I am going to implement 